जय हिंद एवरी वन आम से आम डॉक्टर संजय शर्मा फैकल्टी फ्रॉम अप्लाइड साइंस एंड ह्यूमेनिटीज डिपार्टमेंट अजय कुमार गर्ग इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज स्टूडेंट इन दिस लेक्चर टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द वेरी रिनोन थ्योरम द नेम ऑफ द थ्योरम इज कॉल्ड कैले हेमिल्टन थ्योरम स्टूडेंट आफ्टर ऑलरेडी स्टडीड अबाउट यू कैन से दैक्टर द मैट्रिक्स एंड द एडिशन ऑफ मैट्रिक्स एंड ऑल प्रॉपर्टी रिलेटेड टू द मैट्रिक्स नाउ we have to discuss uh, about kelle hamilton theorem this is very important theorem student and the kelle hamilton theorem was given in the year 1858 by two mathematician uh, the uh, author kelle and the williams ron hamilton basically the kelle hamilton theorem is the uh, you can say uh, is help us to calculate the real and the complex square matrix we satisfy the characteristic equation so basically student this theorem help us to basically find the relation between the matrix and its characteristic equation right and before this lecture already you have studied about what is characteristic equation and how we come to calculate the characteristic equation so it start from characteristic equation before to move on the kelle hamilton theorem student we have to come to know what is the characteristic equation and obviously you can you can calculate the characteristic equation by obviously finding the determinant of a minus lambda i so i'm i'm just going to start with the kelle hamilton theorem so basically uh, the kelle hamilton theorem is a very powerful and uh, you can say the most important result in the linear uh, linear algebra right this theorem basically gives the relationship between the square matrix and the characteristic polynomial one important application of this theorem is to find the inverse of higher powers of matrices student with this with the help of this theorem we can find the inverse power of any function right and we can find the uh, the larger power of any function like if you are looking for the higher power of a then this theorem will help you right so basically let's move to the kelle hamilton theorem and it's uh, you can say the the statement so the statement of the theorem is every square matrix so student before to move on this theorem one thing is obviously clear we have to open we have to apply this theorem only for the square matrix this theorem is not applicable for known square matrix and if i i know that you are very very much clear on square matrix if a matrix is called square matrix when its number of rows and the number of columns are equal right so uh, look at the statement every square matrix satisfies its own characteristic equation now you know what is the square matrix let's uh, look at the characteristic equation right you have already studied uh, in your previous lecture then what is the characteristic equation and how we come to calculate the characteristic equation so basically student when we are having a matrix like a then the value of the this determinant a minus lambda i is called the characteristic equation okay so if we are having a n by n square matrix then you can say this is the characteristic equation from determinant to the expanded form and student it say n order degree you can say polynomial equation so this is a characteristic equation now what the kelle hamilton theorem suggest it suggest that this characteristic equation now can also satisfy the by the matrix so what is the matrix matrix is a so we have to put we have to replace all the characters all the values of lambda by a so by getting putting lambda equals to a we can have this type of expression like c0i plus c1a and so on and it should be zero so this is the basically uh, you can say the statement of the kelle hamilton theorem that this characteristic equation is known handled by the uh, you can say matrix so every matrix satisfy its own characteristic equation right so here basically we have to we have to solve many questions related to characteristic equation and listen student in your aktu curriculum in semester examination right there are there are various questions related to the kelle hamilton theorem they are always asking your previous examination and it carry maximum 10 marks you you can have a question of 10 marks in your and semester examination of the first semester so basically here uh, the proof is not belongs to your syllabus so uh, i'm just uh, omitting the proof we will discuss the solved question and you can say the we, i am going to discuss some questions based on the uh, you can say kelle hamilton theorem here in in these questions i will discuss 
how the, the you can say we have to apply the characteristic equation there are various variety based question in this uh, you can say uh, in this uh, Kelly Hamilton theorem like you can have a question in which you have to find out the characteristic equation and there is there is another question in which you can have the uh, you can verify the Kelly Hamilton theorem basically the verification of the Kelly Hamilton theorem is more important so in these questions we will look at what we have to do so listen if a is a square matrix okay and let the characteristic equation of the question is given to us okay student here matrix a is not given to us basically we have to we have to give in the characteristic equation and this characteristic equation is now lambda q minus 2 lambda square plus 5 lambda minus 6 equals to 0 so now now what cal hamilton theorem approach so, if student, then we are looking for the Calais Hamilton theorem, then obviously this characteristic equation now 100% verified by the matrix itself. So, to find the verification and how the mat how this theorem approach, we have to put all lambda by A. So, student, when we replace all lambda by A, we got the equation number 2 in form of A, like A cube plus 2a square plus 5a minus 6i equals to 0. Now, 6 of i mean the identity matrix and it must be equals to 0. So, student, this is the, you can say, the application of Cal Hamilton theorem over the characteristic equation. Now, now if look at the, you can say, application of this theorem, we can also find the A inverse very suitably and this method gives us gives us the fastest way to calculate the inverse. You can see here, now if I am going to take the product of A inverse in equation 2 on both sides, then obviously 1, 1 power is going to reduce. So, student from equation number 2, we can have the next step is, we can have the A square then minus of 2A plus 5I and student minus 6 of A inverse would be equals to 0. Okay, so from this equation we can calculate the A inverse which is nothing just equals to 1 by 6 of A square minus 2A and then plus of 5i. So, basically in the characteristic equation first we have re replaced the lambda by A. So, we can have the correct from the characteristic equation we can have a polynomial equation in A. Then student by taking the inverse product on both sides we can find the A inverse. This is the most fastest formula or you can say the way or the method to calculate the inverse of any matrix. Okay, moving further. Now, this is the fantastic and this is the most important question mean in your university paper always there must be a question in which you have to verify the Kelly Hamilton theorem, right? But the question is of 2 by 2 mean a square matrix of order 2. So, later we must discuss the, the question uh, which belongs to the 3 by 3 uh, square matrix. So, first start with the a square matrix like 2 by 2 square matrix. So, here we have to verify basically the Calais Hamilton theorem for the matrix A whose row wise elements are 1, 2 and student 2 minus of 1, right. So, before to proceed on the Calais Hamilton theorem, we know that the statement state that we have to look at the characteristic equation first. So, here you know student how we come to know the characteristic equation is it is obviously determinant of lambda minus A i equals to 0, right. So, by operating this uh, uh, determinant over the given matrix, you can have A minus lambda then 2 and in second row, you can have 2 and 1 plus 1 minus lambda equals to 0. So, by solving this characteristic, this determinant, we can have a equation in polynomial form and a student that is what? That is lambda square minus 5 is it equals to 0? Yes, of course, equals to 0. Let us say this characteristic equation is now denoted by equation number 1. Okay, no problem. So, student, now we have to hold, we have to apply the Cal Hamilton theorem. And what Cal Hamilton theorem state? It state that we have to put lambda equals to a. So, obviously, here I have already put up the lambda equals to a in equation number 1. Okay. So, from lambda square minus 5 equals to 0. By putting lambda equals to 8 converted into a square minus 5 of i equals to 0, which is now going to be satisfied by the matrix A, right. So, student, now with the help of A, we can multiply the A into itself A, so that we can operate on A square. And by taking the cross product, which you have studied in your previous lecture, you know now how to calculate the A inverse, A square, sorry. So, you can, you can have the value of A square, it is 5, 0 and 0, 5. So, now we have A square and we have to put this value in equation number 2, right. 
So student, when we are looking for a square minus 5 of i, so I have just put up the value of a square, then I have subtracted the 5 of a, mean I got the 0 matrix, the null matrix. So it's 100% proved now that every square matrix is 100% satisfied by its own characteristic equation. So we got the 0 matrix. So student, hence the theorem is verified here. Now, what we can do, we can also operate this same fundamental on the calculation of the A inverse as well, right? So, student, let's take the product of A inverse on both sides, right? We get the A square. Instead of A square, we can have A then minus of 5 of A to power minus 1 equals to 0. Then, student, your inverse would be 1 by fifth of A. So, this is very, very, very important findings by, by this theorem because you can have the value of inverse in terms of A, which is already given to you. That is the reason this gives the a inverse value more rapidly as compared with the other method you have studied already, right? So, student, because A is given already, so we can directly obtain the A inverse. So, I hope by taking these two questions, you are very much active on this theorem, how we apply the Kala Hamilton theorem and even how we use it to verify the Kala Hamilton theorem, right? Now, next I have the a 3 by 3 square matrix. Basically, student, this is the most important body language of the question. In your university examination, there, is, there must be a question of 10 marks. In that 10 marks question, you have to give in a one 3 by 3 square matrix measurely and you have to verify the theorem and in addition of all this, you have to calculate the value of A inverse as well. So, this is the perfect question, right? So, we have to first find out the characteristic equation of this question, then we have to prove that it's verified by the Kale Hamilton theorem by putting lambda equals to A very well. And then later we have to we have to find the A inverse. Okay, so student, let's proceed. In addition of this, student, in many uh, you can say previous years, you you can find the some additions problem to the question, right? So, in some previous years, this one more thing, additive things were asking in the previous university examination. And what was that? In addition of this example, there was on one another polynomial, right? Now, read this polynomial and we have to convert this polynomial in A, right? So, please understand what is the question. Basically, we have to convert a to power 5 minus 5 a to power 4 plus 3 a cube plus 6 of a squared minus 6 of a plus 2 of 5 as a linear polynomial in a. That is the meaning of the question that we have to reduce the higher power of this polynomial from 5 to some lowest powers of a. So, this is the basic fundamental of this question because Basically, if I just simply calculate the a to a square, I must take the product of a into a. So, it, it's become very, very tough for me to calculate a to power 5. So, student, we have to discuss this one more question, addition question at the end of this question. And a student, in some previous years question, this a to power 5 can also be reduced or replaced by the another question. You can have the same question, but it start from the a power 6. So, it is almost some, you can say, Another increasing powers of A is already in, included in this question. So, student, at the end of this question, I will take the part 1 and part 2 as well and will try to make you understand then how we come to know the linear polynomial of A, okay? So, first of all, the characteristic equation of the given matrix is obviously it can be find out by A minus lambda determinant of A minus lambda equals to 0. So, A is given to us student and you are very comfortable when how we come to know the characteristic equation. So, by taking the values of A and by subtracting lambda i, we can have an expression of the form. It's lambda q minus 6 of A square plus 9 lambda minus 4 equals to 0, okay? So, now student, please, by for the verification of the Kala Hamilton theorem, we have to put what the lambda equals to A. So, student, when I put the lambda equals to A, this equ equation can be reduced to the A cube plus 6A square and minus uh, plus of 9A minus 4 of I equals to 0. So, basically, this is my problem now. With the help of the given matrix A, now I come to know how we come to calculate the value of the a q minus 6 a square plus 9 a minus 4 of i equals to 0. So, basically for this, first of all, I need to calculate the a square by ordinary method student. So, I have a square which would be which would be a to a, a mean a, a dot a. So, it's equals to 6 minus 5, 5, minus 5, 6 minus 5 and the last row is 5 minus 5 and 6. So, 
student this is very genuine uh, you can say ordinary method of calculating the product of two matrices so we can do that no problem later student because I, I, I need to calculate the value of a cube so by taking the product of a square with a I can calculate the values of a cube right so it is also calculated here you can proceed with the, uh, the the a square that is already given to us and we can put up the values of a so that student we can calculate the value of the a cube right now as we have calculated the entire values like I have a that is given to me already I have a square over there I have also calculated student a cube so now I can proceed with the question let's see whether the Kala Hamilton theorem is going to verify here so student first of all I have put up the values of a square this is here and a student then I have put up the values of the 6 of a square 6 is, is a constant so no need of proof of the putting the 6 of a here we have to only put up the value of the a square which is over there then I need to add the 9th of a so 9 is again as a constant we have to put up the values of a so finally student la la lastly we have minus of 4i where, where i is the identity matrix so this is completion of the matrix of the polynomial form into the matrix forms we have calculated already now it's the turn to calculate what we have basically so student we can take the product of six inside rather we can take the product of every element of six or you can proceed by your own self so student by adding or subtracting entire matrix version here you can have this type of last final matrix and student you can say this is finally 0 0 0 a square matrix or you can say a null matrix of order 3 by 3. So this is the verification of the Cal Hamilton theorem. So student in this question we have proved that if we have given a square matrix of any order like it should be square only uh, like a 2 by 2 like 3 by 3. So first we have to calculate the characteristic equation by using ordinary methods right then we have to calculate we have to shift the characteristic equation into the matrix polynomial okay by putting the uh, characteristic equation into matrix form then we have to calculate the matrix multiplication which is very ordinary method of getting calculation of any two matrices right so if we take the a square then student we have to take the product of a into a so we can find the a square very well now later we have to calculate a q which can be given by taking the product of a square with a so student this is you know that the product rule is row to column we have to multiply row to column you can proceed easily no problem now we have to put up the all values of the calculating values of the a cube and a square and a here student this represent a cube it's representing your a square it's representing your 9 of a and finally I have subtracted the fourth of i I mean your identical matrix after calculating all the addition and subtraction and multiplication over there we can have a 0 0 0 matrix hence student your Cal Hamilton theorem getting proved here right so moving further it's yes now you know in this question there was also two or three important phase right so first now I am going to calculate the A inverse because this is student the characteristic equation if I am looking to take the product of A inverse on both sides then I can say a, a cube must be reduced by A square student your 6 of A square must be reduced by 6 of A it's 9 by A become by taking the product of I inverse it can be reduced into I and student 4 of I reduced to the minus 4 of A inverse so right, student I can calculate or even I can solve this system for the A inverse as well so student from this equation we can have the values of the 4 of A inverse and listen student now your A inverse is going to reduce to the power of A square 6 of A and 9 of I finally student you can have the values of the 4 inverse it is equals to A square minus 6 of A plus 9 I student we have already calculated A square this is the beauty of this theorem it can convert the highest power which I already uh, uh, inform you in the starting of this theorem that it can help us to actually find the higher power in terms of the lower power so student you are looking for a inverse and this question was included with a cube now this question is converted in the terms of 
a square which is already calculated duration of this question. So, this is the beauty of this theorem student. Now, by taking a square then 6 of a then plus of 9 we can all we can find the values of the a inverse by taking the you can say addition subtraction of two matrices this is the value of the a inverse. So, this is the most rapid formula or you can say method student which can gives us the calculation of a inverse in comparison with the, your tan plus 2 method and you can say the ghost Jordan method and the previous many methods are available to calculate a inverse but student as far as the uh, the Kala Hamilton theorem is concerned it gives us the most rapid result over inverse. So, moving further class now as in part 1 basically in the starting I have discussed I need to convert this question into the linear lower power of a because student genuinely if, if you think about a6 it take much of your time duration of your examination. So, it is exactly obvious that you are not going to take the value of a6 by taking the usual product of a into a into a no we have to apply the another concept. So, you can see here student first of all this this is this is different. First of all student we have to generate the characteristic equation which we have already generated through Kelly Hamilton theorem. Student you remember then by taking lambda equals to a this form is already calculated duration of the Kelly Hamilton theorem. So, from a power 6 until the a power cube student I need to take a cube so that I can form it here what the characteristic equation related to the lambda related to the matrix. Similarly, student if I take 2 of common it can be written as but you can see this is a power 3 to 3 yes a power 6 is adjusted here but student when I am looking for the 6 of a square with a cube I can move to the 6 of a power 5 yes of course this is also handled here. Now, student when I am looking for a cube to 9 of a yes it is 9 a power 4 it is also adjusted here but student when I am looking for the 4 of i with a cube it should be minus 4 a cube but you can see here we are only having minus of 2 a cube. So, we are basically having 2 minus a power 3 extra here. So, student I take 2 of a cube now you can understand by taking minus of 4 to adding to the plus of plus of 2 a cube this term is adjusted now right. Now, from this term if 2 is already given uh, or already taken common student you can have 6 of a square of course 6 to the 12 that is already adjusted here right. Moving further 2 9 sides obviously student 18 of a but here we are having 23rd of a. So, we are exactly moving for 5 extra a. So, at the end with the 9 with student this is the plus sign. So, I need to subtract the minus 5 because in case of 18 and plus sorry in case of 18 plus 5 it should be 23rd of a. So, it is also balanced here. So, student finally now looking for the identical. So, when we are looking for the product of 2 with 9. So, we are having student already 4 of i. So, it should be 8 of i but minus i is adjusted here. So, finally I have converted the 6 power polynomial in terms of the characteristic equation belongs to the matrix form and student remaining minus uh, my plus of 5a minus i by taking this one now this and this is fantastically common and you can say equal. So, this equation one can be read as equation number two, but student you will be surprised that by taking Kala Hamilton theorem it is equals to 0. So, that is 0 that is 0 and obviously we are looking for the 5a minus 5 of a minus of identity. So, student you can surprise that the a power 6 and the largest 6 power polynomial basically gives the equal value in terms of 5 a minus identity identical matrix. So, student its 6 power a polynomial value is exactly equal to the value of the 5 a minus identity. So, it was your part 1 student this is the linear polynomial in case of a. So, if I am looking for the part 2 student here a, a power 5 polynomial is given right and the characteristic equation is same student because this is the second question from the same matrix. So, its characteristic equation in case of a would be same. So, I have used the same characteristic equation here.
Now, student, when I'm taking a cube with a square common, so my a to power 5 is adjusted here. Okay. When I'm looking for the product of 6a to a square, my 6a power 4, see here. 6a power 4 and I am only having minus of a power 4. So, student, I need to add one more a power 4 here to take the balance rule, right? Now, when I am taking the product of 9a to a square, I can have 9a cube and here I have only 3a cube. So, I need to subtract 6a cube. I will subtract it later. Just hold on, right? When I am looking the product of 4 of i with a square, student, it should be what? Minus of 4a square and student, here I am having 6 of a square. So, basically student, where we are having the extra term and where we are having the low term, I need to calculate. So, one thing is clear, a power 5 is adjust, exactly clear, right? So, this is 5a power 4 and I am here 6a power 4. So, student, I need to add a power 4. Please remember, right? Here, student, when I am taking the a square with 9 of a, I can have 9 a cube, but here only the 3 of a cube allow. So, student, I need to subtract 6 of a cube, right? So, student, with taking a power 4 and I am not, now I am already taken out a as common, so it would be a cube, right? I have already subtracted here 6 of a cube, but by taking a as common, it is only the 6 of a square and student, the rest part is common from here. I have just put up all the term here, right? So, finally, student, my old terms getting adjusted, but I require to verify the polynomial by a square minus 2a plus of 2i. You can you can understand here student 9 of a into a would be 9 of a square but we are only allowed to take 6 of a square so i have here only the 9 of a square and obviously i need to add the 1 a square to reach the equality rule so student finally as per the previous question this is my characteristic equation this is my Again, characteristic equation. So, its value becomes 0 from the Kalle Hamilton theorem. This one is 0. So, finally, student, this 6 power 5, 5 power polynomial now converted into the second power polynomial or you can say second order polynomial. And one more surprise for you. These values are already evaluation, evaluated throughout the into the you can say variation into the duration of the proof of the uh, you can say Kalle Hamilton theorem. So, there is no surprise I have a square student I have a and this is my identical matrix. So, these values are obviously with me. So, now very easily I can find a matrix which representing the linear form of the given 5 power polynomial right. So, student, if we are moving for the uh, moving for the last question of this uh, lecture, then student, this is the last question where we have to verify the Kalle Hamilton theorem theorem over the matrix, and also I need to find the inverse of the matrix. So, this is the almost same question, student. There is no big difference, but the digits are different with the matrix. So, let's look how we prove this question for the Kalle Hamilton theorem. Obviously, student, first of all, the most important thing, we have to apply the characteristic equation, which is a minus lambda i equals to 0, of course. I have a matrix that is given to me. So, I need to subtract the lambda from each and every principal diagonal element. So, this is the determinate form. Now, I can I can solve this determinate form into the polynomial form. So, student, it is a three order linear polynomial, which is saying that this is the characteristic equation. Now, as we have to, as we have to uh, prove the Kalle Hamilton theorem, we have to verify the Kalle Hamilton theorem. So, student, we have to put lambda equals to a. So, by taking lambda equals to a, we can have a such type of polynomial with us. Now, calculating a square because first with the help of a, we can only calculate the a square. Take the product of a to a, we can have the values of the a square. Similarly, student, we can have the values of a cube. It take time for you because the the digits are slightly tough in this question. That is the reason I have taken out this question. You can see from the a cube value, it's 157, 283. It's some largest amount of values here. So, no problem. You can calculate, you can find out the value. There is no big issue. So, student, by putting all the values in this characteristic equation over lambda, we can have 
that the verification of the Kale-Hamilton theorem is achieved. So, this is the verification of the Kale-Hamilton theorem. In the same way, student, we can take the A inverse by taking the product of A inverse, both side in the characteristic equation. We can have the values of the A inverse, which can be evaluated by taking the values of A square, that is A, that is identical matrix. And here you can calculate it, the value of the A inverse. Student, in my in, in this lecture, I have all obviously covered the Kale Hamilton theorem. What is the application of the Kale Hamilton theorem? You know, after this lecture, no, you now come to know that this theorem will definitely help us to calculate the higher power of any matrix. If we are looking for the, you can say A power 6 and A power 8 powers of any matrix, this theorem can also help us. So that is all from my side. Thank you class.